I guess you really don't want to admit it. Then, just as you requested, I will provide an argument that'll leave you no choice but to be persuaded. Oh man. I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! Wither! Trust that David prophesies! I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! Wither! Crushed as David prophesies! Show me the cadaver! I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! Wither! Crushed as David prophesies! I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! Wither! Nickel the back. Do uh, you really think I can get four, you so easily? Dark Davis. This is the end. Even if you didn't get behind Nickamar, you should have been able to press the button on the back of his neck. As long as you had the power of the hamsters you keep with you. Oh? Are you seriously saying he used his hamsters to press the button on the back of Nekomaru's neck? Of course, it'd be impossible for a normal person, but it would have been possible for Gundam. In fact, we saw that with our very own eyes, right? Emissary of evil, in accordance with our ancient contract, the time has come to lend me your aid. Pierce through, Supernova, the Silver Fox, San D. Ah, I pressed the button. Truly, this is the skyline lamentation art of the Demon Mouse. Whoa! Soon the door of destiny shall open. Now that you mention it, after Ibuki was killed in the music venue, one of Gundam's hamsters retrieved the piece of wallpaper from the baton lighting, right? Hey, with your friends and their exceptionally smart brains, it must have been possible to secretly get one of them behind Megamaru and press the button on the back of his neck. How about it, Gundam? <laughs> <laughs> Not just myself, but you actually brought up how splendid my subordinates are. <sighs> I have no recourse but to admit it. Admit it? Did you say you admit it? It appears I've obtained a one-way ticket to hell. Fine! Then you must trample me underfoot and advance. Victory can only be built upon a foundation of corpses. You cannot find peace without sacrifice anywhere. Now, trample this life. Trample it as though it were mere trash on the side of the road. Pull the curtain strings of this worthless performance with your own two hands. Now we're doing it? Oh man. Okay, so clocks. Someone mess with the clocks, okay? Um Let's see, what is this? Who set the clock the, the the lounge clock's alarm? Okay. Uh That's not it, okay. Um, let's see. Nekamaro got up. Who was in the lounge since early morning? Fuyuhiko can't sleep. Okay. Nekamaro woke up. Fuyuhiko saw something. What time did Fuyuhiko see Nekamaru? This time. Okay. And then, uh... Gundam sees the killer. Gundam greets the killer. And then, um... Whatever this is... Okay... So then, presses the button on, on Nekamaru... Nekamaru's weakness is something... Okay... Then... Uh... Something happens there... The wire wrapped around Nekamaru's feet... Okay... The killer destroyed what after leaving the tower? Something over here. What was the fake weapon left under the tower? 
Okay. Um, let's see. A lot of stuff happened over here. Okay. There's a weapon over here. There we go. All right. Um... Okay. Nekomar's weakness is something. I gotta go back. I gotta go back to that later. All right. Um. So then the killer placed the wire on the doorknob. Okay. And then um, the killer destroyed what after leaving the door? The this. No? Okay. That's not it. Um... Alright. The alarm clock happened, and then everybody met up here. And then, um... Meanwhile, over here, the doorknob came off, and then Nekomar started falling. Stock three. Uh, who set the lounge clock's alarm? Uh, kiss the pillar. What is that? I woke up at some some time right there. Kayla destroyed what after leaving the tower? Uh, hmm. Okay, so I woke up. Uh, Akane woke up. The guys are still, like, at the lounge there, and then we found Nekomaru's body. Okay. Um... No. That's, that doesn't go there. Uh, alarm set for 5.30. It's 2.40 a.m. right now. Really? That early? Oh, man. So, this? Okay. Last stock, okay. See, that one make, didn't mu make much sense right there. Nekomaru's weakness is this. Okay. And then... The killer destroyed what after leaving the tower? This. Here's everything that happened in this case. Let's first go over the many tricks the killer prepared before they committed the crime. First, they destroyed the contact elevator. This separated Nagito and the others in Strawberry House from our group in Grape House. Next, they lured Nekomaru out by himself by turning back all the clocks in the Fun House by two hours. Additionally, in order to secure an alibi, the killer went to the Strawberry House Lounge and set the wall clock's alarm to 5.30 a.m. After finishing their preparations, the killer went to Strawberry Tower with the necessary tools in hand. They obtained these tools from the Octagon, which you can enter once you clear the final death. This means the killer discovered the secret of the Fun House faster than anybody else. That secret being, Strawberry House and Grave House are actually the same building. On the morning of the incident, Nekomaru woke up and headed over to Great Tower for a specific reason. There, Fuyuhiko, who was at the lounge by coincidence, witnessed Nekomaru. 
According to Fuyuhiko's testimony, that was around 5 a.m., but by that point, the killer had already messed with our perception of time. In actuality, Fuyuhiko witnessed Nekomaru at 7 a.m. That's also the same time Monokuma Taichi begins. Nekomaru went to Grape Tower to participate in that. However, because the contact elevator was broken, Nekomaru was unable to go to Grape Tower. So he decided to try going to Strawberry Tower. But the killer was waiting for him there. With the power of hamsters, they were able to press the good knife button on the back of Nekomaru's neck. This forced him to enter sleep mode, rendering him immobile. From there, the killer began preparing to use the ultimate weapon. First, they set the alarm in Nekomaru's chest to 7.30 a.m. so he'd wake up. Then they tied him up with a metal wire, tied the tip of the wire into a loop, and hung it on the doorknob. After leaving Strawberry Tower, the killer then destroyed the door button to Strawberry Hall. They did this to keep us from entering Strawberry Tower, and to keep us from discovering the secret of the building structure that they used to kill Nekomaru. Then, they used the secret octagon passageway to travel to Grape House. After arriving at Grape Hall, they pressed the button to open the door to the tower. When that happened, the elevator-like floor of the tower began descending, and Nekomaru's body was still inside, dangling upside down in mid-air from the wire. The killer entered Grape Tower to see if their setup was successful. placed a hammer on the floor to look like the weapon, then wrapped a chain around the back door. This was done to make us falsely believe we couldn't enter the tower from Strawberry Hall. With this, the killer finished their setup and tried to go back to their room using the secret passage, so they could craft their alibi when Negromaru died from the fall. But something unexpected happened. Fuyuhiko, who saw Negromaru earlier, was still at the lounge. As a result, the killer couldn't return to their room, and with no options available, time ran out. The lounge's wall clock alarm started ringing at 5.30. Well, actually 7.30. To avoid a worst-case scenario, the killer was forced to appear in front of Fuyuhiko with the others. When the wall clock's alarm rang, that was also the same time Nekomaru was waking up. He woke up while he was still hanging upside down, so he couldn't help but sway his body powerfully. Originally, the loop of wire was only supposed to slip off the doorknob, but because there was a heavier load than expected, the doorknob ended up breaking. Nekomaru fell from the fourth floor all the way to the first floor. He crashed into the pillar, which decapitated him on impact, and died. The sound of Nekomaru's impact echoed throughout the funhouse. However, by this point, the killer's plan was about to fail, thanks to the broken doorknob and for Yuhiko. Meaning, the killer is someone who wouldn't have heard the alarm if they were in the deluxe room. They also wouldn't have been able to return to their guest room, because Fuyuhiko was at the lounge. That someone is Gundam Tanaka. I can't think of anyone else but you. And kill you myself! I cannot believe it. I just cannot believe. You. you killed Nekomaru? I cannot believe something like that! You don't wish to forgive me, do you feel regret? 
Then finish it! Cast your impure votes for Gundam Tanaka! My beloved, deadly foes, let the voting time begin! A C? Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Why am I so bad at this game? I did, I'm play, like, I'm, I've been playing worse than the first game. Like, I, no doubt, this game has definitely been harder than the first game, but oh my god. There's, like, it's been, a, like, these trials have been a lot more complicated than, than the, than the trials in the first game. That's, that, I, I will give it that. Um. Uh, and just a lot of this stuff was just super complicated that it was just so hard to like make out these clues. Like you'd think I'd be much better at, at discovering things given the first game, but it's just so hard.